Windshield wiper issues are like the plot of a bad movie. Just when you think everything's running smoothly, a curveball gets thrown your way. Luckily, fixing a windshield wiper that won't move is less about dramatic tension and more about practical steps. Let's troubleshoot. First off, it's worth noting that the cause might be as minor as a blown fuse or as major as a faulty motor. Check the fuse. Your vehicle's user manual will guide you to your fuse box. Once there, locate the fuse responsible for your car's wipers. If the fuse is blown, the fix is as simple as heading to your local auto parts store in Portland, or any city really, and picking up a replacement. Inspect the Wiper Arms Portland, Oregon, with its constant flux of rain and dry spells, can cause wear and tear on your wipers quicker than in more temperate climates. If the arms are loose, it's just a matter of tightening the bolts that connect them to the motor. Sometimes they might be stripped or corroded. Portland's weather can expedite this. And if that's the case, a replacement is your best bet. Wiper motor examination. If the first two fixes don't resolve the issue, the problem might lie with the motor. This is a bit more complex and might require a professional mechanic. However, if you're feeling adventurous and have experience with car repairs, open the hood and locate the motor. Listen for any sounds coming from it when you activate the wipers. No sound usually indicates a dead motor, while a humming sound could mean it's seized up. Sometimes it's a matter of reconnecting loose wiring, but often a non-working motor will need to be replaced. Lubrication. Lastly, consider the wiper mechanism's lubrication. It's not a common problem, but in a city like Portland where there's a variety of weather conditions, the pivot points can get dry or jammed with debris. Adding some lubricant might just be the quick fix you need. It's frustrating when your windshield wipers give up on you, especially with the unpredictable Portland skies. While most of these steps are DIY friendly, there's no shame in taking your car to a professional if you're unsure. After all, it's about getting you safely back on the road with clear visibility, no matter the weather.